Hello everyone! In today's lesson, we'll talk about speed, distance, and time. Let's start with a short story. The Gonzaga family drove from Quezon City to Tagaytay City. They traveled a distance of 76 kilometers in 2 hours. What was their speed? Before we answer this problem, let us understand first what speed, distance, and time is. When you say speed, it measures how fast the object or body travels at a given time. Okay, it answers the question, how fast? On the other hand, distance is a measurement of how far the object or body travels at a given time and speed. This time, distance answers the question, how far? And lastly, time measures how long it takes to cover or travel a certain distance at a speed or at a given speed. And time answers the question, how long? For us to be able to solve for distance, speed, and time, we can use this triangular figure here to remember the formulas that we'll be using. D is written on top, while S and T are both written below. That means, when you're looking for speed, if speed is missing, you'll have distance over time. Okay, so you have to divide distance and time. Now, if distance is missing, then you'll have to multiply speed and time. And lastly, if time is missing, you'll have distance over speed. Now, let's go back to the star problem we had earlier. The Gonzaga family drove from Quezon City to Tagaytay City. They traveled a distance of 76 kilometers, were given distance, in 2 hours. Okay, so we have your hours, therefore we're also given time. Now, the question is asking for what was their speed? Using the triangular figure we talked about earlier, to look for speed, we'll have distance over time. So that means we will be dividing distance and time and that will give us 76 kilometers over 2 hours now dividing 76 by 2 will have 38 as you notice for us to determine the unit of measurement we will use looking at our solution here we have kilometers over hours since they are different um, unit of measurement, we cannot cancel them out. Therefore, we'll have kilometers over hour or kilometers per hour our, as our unit of measurement for speed. Therefore, the Gonzaga family drove 38 kilometers per hour. Now, let's try some more examples. What is the speed of the sailboat traveling 120 meters in 100 seconds? This time we are asked to look for speed. And again, to look for speed, we'll be using the formula distance over time. We're given that distance traveled by the sailboat is 120 meters and the time it took them is 100 seconds. So for our solution, we'll have 120 meters over 100 seconds. And dividing 120 and 100 will give us 1.2. Again, our unit of measurement is meters over second, so we'll have 1.2 meters per second. So the speed of the sailboat is 1.2 meters per second. Next example, Robin is running at a speed of 300 meters per minute. How long will it take him to run a distance of 1,800 meters? The question is asking for how long, so that means we're looking for time. We're given speed is 300 meters per minute and distance is 1,800 meters. Using our triangular figure to find for time, we'll have to divide distance and speed. So in our solution, we'll have 1,800 meters divided by 300 meters per minute. And when you divide 1,800 by 300, you'll have 6. Now, for us to determine the unit of measurement that we will use, let's take a look at the units we have here. We have meters over meters per minute. Since we have um, units which are the same, we can cancel them out. So you'll be left with 
the unit minutes. Therefore, in our final answer, our unit should be minutes. That means it will take Robin 6 minutes. Another example, a cyclist travels at a rate of 50 kilometers per hour. When you say rate, it's uh, also speed. How far did the cyclist travel in 2 hours? We're asked to look for how far, so that means the question here is distance. Okay, we're given the speed is 50 kilometers per hour. Now we're asked to look for how far did the cyclist travel in 2 hours. And using our triangular figure, distance is equal to speed times time. So we have to multiply speed and time. So in our solution, we'll have 50 kilometers per hour times 2 hours. Multiplying 50 and 2, we'll have 100 kilometers per hour over hour. Okay, so just like what we did earlier, to determine the unit of measurement that we will use, we'll just have to cancel out the units which are the same. So in this case, you can cancel out hour. So for our final answer, we'll have 100 kilometers. Therefore, the cyclist traveled a distance of 100 kilometers in 2 hours. Another one, a van is traveling 60 kilometers per hour. How far can it travel in 3 hours? Again, the question is asking for how far. So we're looking for distance. Using the given speed, which is 60 kilometers per hour and time 3 hours, to find for distance, we'll multiply speed and time. So we'll have 60 kilometers per hour times 3 hours. And that will give us 60 times 3 is 180. Then we have kilometers per hour and hour. Again, for us to determine the unit of measurement, we'll cancel out the units which are the same. So we'll have 180 kilometers. That means a van traveled a distance of 180 kilometers. Next, Cindy roller skates with a constant speed of 8 km per hour. How long will it take for her to travel a distance of 4 km? The question is how long, so we're looking for time. Given that the speed is 8 km per hour and the distance to be covered is 4 km. And to find for time, we just have to divide distance and speed. So in our solution, we'll have 4 kilometers over 8 kilometers per hour. And that will give us 0 0.5. Okay. Then to determine the unit of measurement, we'll just have to cancel out um, the same units. Therefore, our unit of measurement will be our 0 0.5 hour. If you will convert 0 0.5 hour into minutes, uh, you just have to write this one in decimals. So this will be equal to 5 over um, 10. 5 over 10 is equal to 1 half. And 1 half of 60, because in 1 hour we have 60 minutes. Okay, 1 half of 60 minutes is equal to 30 minutes. Okay. So instead of 0 0.5 hour, you can also say that it will take Cindy 30 minutes to cover 4 kilometers. And that's it for our lesson for today. Thank you for listening.